One crucial lesson I've grasped is the importance of not forcing things, be it in conversations, friendships, relationships, or the pursuit of attention and love. What's meant to happen will flow naturally, and what isn't, simply won't. Though it was challenging, I've learned to gracefully let go and move forward without clinging to people I once believed would always be part of my life. This lesson, among many others, unfolds over time. In this video, I'll delve into the experiences of a wise individual, sharing both their missteps for you to avoid and their triumphs to ignite inspiration. A seasoned person bears witness to countless dawns and sails through the tumultuous seas of existence. My hope is that these words offer you solace and wisdom. Let's embark on this journey together with a sense of peace and anticipation. Life is a great teacher, and it will repeat its lessons until we learn them. Therefore, it's wise to learn from the mistakes of others. It's a less painful and more efficient path. Don't be afraid to lose someone who doesn't appreciate having you in their life. Some people discourage you out of fear that you might realize your true potential and achieve what they lack the courage to attempt. Choose your life partner wisely, as that decision significantly impacts 90% of your happiness or sadness. When someone helps you during tough times, that's not just assistance. It's an expression of love. The tranquility of being a good person, free from the desire to harm others, is invaluable. Your conscience forms the foundation of your happiness, so consider the long-term effects of your actions on your thoughts and inner strength. Life may cast negative energy upon you, but remember, it's a good teacher, repeating lessons until learned. Embrace self-love by making tough decisions, like distancing yourself from something harmful, as it is a beautiful demonstration of prioritizing your well-being. It's never too late to embark on a new journey, live a new story, or build a new dream. I stopped chasing life a long time ago because I realized it knows exactly where I am. Your peace of mind begins when you decide to break ties that don't add to your life. Another great lesson that plays a crucial role in our personal development is understanding the value of trust from those who truly deserve it. If you manage to deceive someone, it doesn't mean that the person is foolish. It means they trusted you more than you deserved. The present is not in the packaging. The present is always the hands that deliver it. Love a lot, fall in love a thousand times, and remember that your happiness depends on only one person, yourself. There is a brief moment in life when you feel more lost than ever. This moment is the beginning of an encounter with yourself. Be like the supportive wolf of the pack and strong in solitude. Inner peace begins on the day you decide not to let another person control your emotions. Think 20 times before betraying a friend, then think 50 times, then keep thinking. Valuable things in life may seem worthless until you lose them and a friend has immeasurable value. One does not triumph who has not had difficult moments. One triumphs who has gone through them and resisted. The less sex you have, the more inspiration you will have to create and use your talents in what you are passionate about. As an adult, live like a young person, advise like an elder, and never stop dreaming like a child. And if no one wants to accompany you, Go alone and without fear. Don't worry, you'll meet people along the way. According to Stoicism, if something doesn't exist in your mind, it won't exist in your life. Karma isn't the universe's revenge, but a reflection of your actions. So worry more about what you give than what you'll receive. Naturally, over time, you live the life you've always desired because happy people dedicate themselves to building their own world while unhappy people blame the rest of the world for everything that goes wrong in their lives. There are no excuses for someone who had a thousand opportunities to do the right things and chose to keep doing wrong. Learn to set boundaries, 
because everything that is allowed, unfortunately, repeats itself. If you think others will do for you what you do for them, you'll be disappointed. When dealing with people who had numerous opportunities to make right decisions but chose a different path, it's vital to recognize that there are no excuses for this behavior. The ability to make ethical choices and correct mistakes is present in all of us. And those who repeatedly choose the wrong path demonstrate a lack of commitment to fundamental values. Stop giving explanations when you realize that people only understand from their own level of perception. At the same time, don't abuse good people. They may forgive you hundreds of times, but when they get tired and decide to leave, they will never come back. The importance of setting boundaries becomes evident in this context. Repeatedly allowing someone to cross boundaries or ignore ethical principles establishes a harmful pattern by setting clear limits and not allowing deviations, you are defending your own values and respecting the integrity of the relationship. Anything that is allowed, especially when it goes against your principles, creates a conducive environment for the repetition of such behavior. The notion of reciprocity is also crucial. Expecting others to treat you the way you treat them is understandable but it's important to recognize that not everyone shares the same ethics or willingness to act reciprocally. Placing this expectation on others' actions can lead to disappointments because each individual has their own way of interacting with the world. When someone allows you into their soul, don't forget to take off your shoes because there are places that are sacred. The less sex you have, the more inspiration you'll have to create and use your talents in what you are passionate about. Quickly run away from people who are only by your side while you have something to offer. When addressing worry, it's crucial to understand that anticipating future problems doesn't solve them. On the contrary, constant worry about tomorrow can become an emotional burden robbing the peace and balance of the present moment. It's prudent to recognize that many of the problems that disturb us may never materialize, and spending excessive mental energy on them only contributes to anxiety. At the same time, careful choice of companions is crucial. People who are by your side only when you have something to offer but disappear in difficult times reveal an opportunistic relationship pattern these connections are often superficial and based on temporary interests. It's wise to keep a distance from such relationships as they can become sources of stress and disillusionment. Who disappoints you once will disappoint you a thousand times. If you fall in love with two people, choose the second one, because if you were truly in love with the first, you wouldn't have fallen for the second. When playing with children, let them win. Seek advice only from people who are where you want to be, because they will always be a new opportunity, a new job, a new love, a new friendship, but never another life. There is no waste when you embrace loneliness. It's hard to fall in love with anyone again when someone allows you into their soul. Don't forget to take off your shoes because there are places that are sacred. The less sex you have, the more inspiration you'll have to create and use your talents in what you are passionate about. As an adult, live like a young person, advise like an elder, and never stop dreaming like a child. And if no one wants to accompany you, go alone and without fear. Don't worry, you'll meet people along the way. Somewhere in the world, someone is dreaming of having the life you have. Be grateful and, within your possibilities, Help create a better world for everyone. Never regret having a good heart. Remember that all the good comes back multiplied. By recognizing that somewhere in the world, someone wishes for the life we have, we are reminded of the importance of gratitude. A practice of gratitude involves consciously appreciating the blessings and positive experiences we have. This doesn't mean ignoring challenges, but focusing on what is good in our lives. Gratitude not only improves one's perspective on life, but also creates a more positive mindset that generates happiness. The instruction to never regret having a good heart 
emphasizes the importance of maintaining kindness even in the face of challenges or disappointments. Having a generous heart is a virtue that benefits not only others, but also contributes to one's own emotional well-being. Positive actions, even if not immediately recognized, have a lasting impact. Love a lot, fall in love a thousand times, and remember that your happiness depends on only one person, yourself. There is a brief moment in life when you feel more lost than ever. This moment is the beginning of an encounter with yourself. Think 20 times before betraying a friend, then think 50 times, then keep thinking. Valuable things in life may seem worthless until you lose them, and a friend has immeasurable value. One does not triumph who has not had difficult moments. One triumphs who has gone through them and resisted. The present is not in the packaging. The present is always the hands that deliver it. Be like the supportive wolf of the pack and strong in solitude. What is loved with the soul cannot be torn away by memory. Inner peace begins on the day you decide not to let another person control your emotions. No matter how much you search in other gardens, you will never find the same flower. Don't make a permanent decision for a temporary emotion. The important thing is to fight to live life, suffer it, enjoy it. Losing with dignity is trying again. Life is wonderful if we're not afraid of it. Before complaining, look around and be thankful for what you have. There is no lack of time. There is a lack of interest. Because when people really want to, the dawn becomes day, Tuesday becomes Saturday. So which of these sayings did you like the most? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, share and give it a like to support the channel. Until next time, stay strong, stay stoic, and let the stoic wines transform your life.